Another promising and well-established energy storage technology is pumped hydro storage, which actually accounts for the vast majority of the world's current energy storage capacity. Oregon is about to be home to the newest pumped storage facility, located in Klamath County. Yeah, Swan Lake is a closed loop pumped storage hydropower project. Pump storage is the oldest and cheapest form of energy storage and currently accounts for 93% of all of the existing energy storage here in the United States. Uh, there's 40 projects or so that are in operation. Uh, and the first one was built here uh, in the US over 100 years ago. It's a pretty simple type of project. Uh, you build two artificial ponds or reservoirs on the landscape, a lower pond and an upper pond. You fill the system with water, and then during periods of low electricity demand, you use wind and solar to pump water from the lower pond into the upper pond. And then conversely, during periods of high electricity demand, but the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining, you release that water and you have on-demand, carbon-free electricity. So the project at Swan Lake is 393 megawatts in size and provides nine and a half hours of carbon-free on-demand electricity to 125,000 homes. It's exactly like a normal hydro facility, except that it can work in reverse. We could get stuck on a road like this. Like it, it's imminently possible that it might happen like now. You're a Portlander, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the rain doesn't yeah. bother you one bit. No, <laughs> no. So right now we are standing uh, in the vicinity of the Swan Lake Energy Storage Project. The area that you see behind us is the escarpment that separates the lower and upper reservoirs. The upper reservoir, about 60 acres in size, will sit up at the top. And then a powerhouse structure will sit just behind us here. And then the lower reservoir will sit just beyond that on Grizzly Butte. The penstock or pipes that connect the lower and upper reservoir are underground in this case. Gotcha. And the penstock is, you're talking about like the, you know, basically the tube that all yeah. the water goes through? Yeah, the shaft or the tunnel that connects the water from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir itself. Gotcha. Yeah. And so basically the water, if you're like in power generation mode, it flows yeah. down, comes through the powerhouse here, right. and then filters into the lower reservoir. That's right. And in the reverse case, you're kind of pumping water actively yep. using that excess energy, yep. sending it uphill for the next time you need it. Yep. This type of energy storage is 20 to 30% cheaper than lithium ion because it's built to last more than a century. So a lot like our existing hydropower, once it's built and operating, it costs very little to operate it for a very long period of time. Unlike a lot of the battery storage that needs to be completely replaced every 15 years or so. This is really a long duration or long period of time type of storage. If you're looking for just one or two hours of energy storage, you know, lithium ion is likely a better tool, but if you're really looking for a type of storage that will meet these large gaps, you know, when the wind really isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining, pump storage is a much better tool for a system that's going to rely more and more on, on wind and solar. We have projected that there's five to 10,000 megawatts of energy storage that needs to be built in Oregon and Washington between now and the mid 2030s. So this is a 400 megawatt slice of that. Part of the reason that the project is here in Klamath County is that there's two substations on the transmission system that connect Southern California all the way up to Northern Washington here in Klamath County. So we're about 30 miles north of the Malin substation where we connect in. And the project location in Swan Lake Valley was selected because it's primarily on private land and most importantly, can utilize existing agricultural wells for water in a terminal basin where the wells have no connectivity to the Klamath Aquifer or any of the water rights issues that are often in the press in Klamath County in particular. Not everyone in Klamath County supports the Swan Lake project. The Klamath tribes oppose the chosen site due to its traditional cultural significance. So the Klamath tribes are the Modoc, Klamath, and Yahuskin Paiute peoples. The three of us were all placed together on this reservation after the Treaty of 1864. 
I did notice this document up on the wall. Is that the Treaty of 1864? That is the Treaty of 1864, and uh, my three times great grandfather's mark is is up there. Klamath tribes are are absolutely in favor of green energy projects, uh, but not this one. It's uh, one of the most sacred sites uh, that we have. We told them that it's the equivalent of setting off a, a bomb in the middle of Vatican City. So it's just something that we could never condone. Yeah, tell me why. What's, um, what's special about that location? Why is that place significant for you? Well, you know, I want to be careful. I don't want to say a whole lot about it, except to say that it's a place where our ancestors have been for, you know, literally a millennia. We know that it was a, an important place for them to go and, and to pray and, and to be at uh, one with uh, the creation. We're careful not to try to say much more than that. I'm sure you can imagine that uh, there's folks out there who would like to enrich themselves in, in ways that are just you know sacrilegious and, and offensive to us. Uh, there have been at least three tribal councils who have opposed this project and opposed it as vehemently as we could you know, within the, the confines of what the law allows. The project area in general, Swan Lake Rim and Swan Lake Valley, has been used by the Klamath tribe since time immemorial. And so any type of development there or impact, whether it's agriculture or you know, this type of facility, is going to raise concerns. This is a federally regulated project, so the tribes have a nation-to-nation -nation type of consultation. We're able to work with the tribe and fully understand areas of concern to try and avoid traditional cultural properties to the extent we could, and that's you know in part why the project ended up with features where they are, to avoid a lot of those impacts. And where they can't be avoided, we've established a historic properties management plan to have you know some type of mitigation, whether it's restoration of traditional plantings or some other type of curation. Basically, if you don't own the property, you can't protect it. You know, it's the National Historic Preservation Act. It's just not uh, strong enough. What it does allow for is, you know, quote unquote, mitigation. But as I said a moment ago, you know, if you set off a bomb in the middle of, you know, Vatican City and told Catholics, well, there was a statue over there that got blown up, right? Or there was a fountain over there that got blown up. So we're going to try and compensate you for that without recognizing the importance of the entire area. And that's what this is. It's a, it's a cathedral for us. There's just not enough money uh, on the planet to, to mitigate for it. Developers proposed a $40 million compensation package. The funds were intended to support tribal land acquisition and create new community resources. So when it got to that point, then it became about the company bringing folks to try to bargain with us. I mean, it was extremely divisive here. You know, on the one side, you have those who say, look, this is blood money. We should never take money for something like this. Not only is it immoral, it's, it's shameful to even think about it. On the other side, you have folks saying, you know, look, you guys are being prideful. None of us want this. But this is a whole lot of money that could go toward purchasing lands that we could then protect from something similar happening. It could bring us a sober living facility for members who struggle with addiction issues. It could help with education funds. It could help us put up a living cultural center. So if we've lost the fight, why not what we do can do for coming generations and avoid similar situations in the future? You know, I, I can. I can genuinely respect the different ways that uh, our members felt. I believe it was the job of the council to try and create a damages package in negotiation with the company that was as lucrative as possible and then put that vote in front of the membership. So that's what we tried to do. Our members rejected it at a general council meeting and just said, no, we don't want to go any further. So that's, that's the end of it. Um, but the project is still moving forward. So it, ultimately, it isn't something that you fundamentally actually had control over whether the project moved forward or not. It was mostly, I guess it was a matter of your approval, your, your approving it or not, um, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I, I obviously I can't speak for the company, but I think that they understand that public relations are important and they probably didn't want a black eye from a battle with a, with a tribe. 
But at the end of the day, um, did any money change hands? No. No. So no. it's going forward, and, and ultimately Klamath Tribes didn't get anything for it. Yeah, that's correct. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about this result, that it's actually it's happening? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm sad that it's happening. I don't know any tribal members who are in favor of it. I did my job to the best of my ability, which is, like I said, just putting the choice in front of the people or doing what I could to put the choice in front of the people. Like any type of infrastructure, this type of project has some impacts. You know, we've been able to work with public agencies like the Bureau of Land Management, Bureau of Reclamation, tribes like the Klamath Tribe, avoiding spiritual areas and where we can't, actually having a mitigation plan in place agreed to by the tribe and having monitors, you know, out in the project area during certain portions of a project construction. The National Historic Preservation Act requires that there be cultural monitors present. It doesn't really have a lot of teeth. I mean, for example, let's say worst case scenario, they come across human remains. Then the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act kicks in. Despite the name, it's not really a protection of graves, right? I mean, we can stop the work. I think it's 100 days maximum. You know, law enforcement would come in. They'd make sure that they were tribal and not modern. And then we would have something to say about what happens with those ancestors. But they would be removed, and we, could, we couldn't stop that. The Klamath tribe's experience with Swan Lake is not entirely unique. This situation echoes similar situations we've reported on, with tribal members in the McDermott caldera facing lithium mining and on the Oregon coast facing offshore wind. Indigenous people have consistently expressed that they are not appropriately consulted in the earliest phases of infrastructure project development. I would just say that it's really, really taxing and traumatic for tribal nations when we have to deal with these things. Uh, and it would be so much better not just for us politically, but for our mental health, for our spiritual health, for our community health, if we could start by being consulted with on the front end so that we're not having to come up against these very powerful companies who in their own way are trying to do good, but just do good without thinking through, you know, who they need to talk to first. Yes, we're pro-green energy, but Yes, I think things could be thought out much more carefully, and tribes need much more uh, forewarning, right? We should be at the front of the consultation process rather than having to come in afterwards and saying, you know, no, not there. It's just painful for us, and it, it causes hard feelings, and, and, you know, we don't need any more of that.